In Ukraine, soldiers from the 36th Coastal Defense Brigade, who refused to join the Russian military, left with their families from Crimea's Peravalny military base. The soldiers, who said they were in good spirits, traveled on April 2nd to their new base in Odessa. The brigade's major said that about 150 of his soldiers remained loyal to Ukraine, while several others decided to stay in Crimea and serve with Russian forces occupying the peninsula. In Afghanistan, Defense Ministry officials said the country's military is capable of providing security for the April 5th presidential and provincial council elections. A spokesman said the Afghan National Army is better trained and equipped than it was for previous elections. He added that the military transferred ballots to 49 remote districts of the country, with only five more districts awaiting ballots. In Pakistan, a conference sponsored by a pro-Taliban party stressed the importance of peace talks with the militants in order to end violence. Organized by Jamaat-e-Islami, forum speakers said continued military operations by the Pakistani army in the federally administered tribal areas will only aggravate problems. In Tajikistan, a welcoming ceremony was held for a group of army conscripts in the southern city of Kulob. After being checked by doctors, 54 of the 70 new conscripts were approved for army duty. The others were sent to medical clinics for treatment. The Tajik army has been heavily criticized for snatching men off the streets to fill its ranks. Tajik President Amomali Rahman recently pledged to end the practice. In Kazakhstan, a woman who said the land where her home sits was confiscated for state needs held a solitary protest in front of Astana City Hall. Altin Chervalieva said her land was taken for the construction of luxury villas. She was taken away by police a few minutes after she began her protest. Landowners in Kazakhstan often get insufficient compensation after their homes are seized and demolished. In Kyrgyzstan, leaders of the newly formed National Opposition Movement said they'll demonstrate on April 10th against a one-month ban on protests in Bishkek's central square. A Bishkek court ruled that all rallies in April must be held in nearby Gorky Park because of ceremonies for the anniversary of the toppling of President Kermanbek Bakiyev in 2010. The General Prosecutor's Office opposes the ban on Central Square demonstrations and has asked a city court to overturn it. In Turkmenistan, the government held an exhibit to unveil the logos and symbols for the Indoor Asian Games to be held in the country in 2017. The Ashgabat event showed off the torch, the design for medals, and a model of the sports facilities. Turkmenistan is spending several billion dollars to host the games, including $2.2 billion for the construction of a new airport. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.